Now, no one planned for coronavirus, so that means everything you planned may have changed. And that includes a major public housing project in the St. Paul area. Project two years in the making, but some things will be on hold during this pandemic. Penny, your side, Brett Hall has the latest on this timeline in Norfolk. It was originally planned by this time to have ongoing mandatory move outs occur in the Tidewater Gardens public housing community in Norfolk in order to make way for the wrecking ball. However, like everything else, COVID-19 had other plans. After nearly two years of work preparing residents of more than 180 units to move for phase one of demolition, a letter from the Norfolk Redevelopment and Housing Authority last month revealed for the next six months, nobody will be forced to relocate a small roadblock that could keep these 1950s era buildings standing a little bit longer. Certainly weren't going to force people to move during a pandemic. Um, HUD put a freeze on rents and collections and things of that nature anyway. And so this really isn't that big of a hiccup for us in terms of how we move forward. We are still working. Norfolk Councilwoman Angela Williams Graves says if and only if residents completely move out of entire buildings, Will the excavators be allowed to roll in? Believe it or not, nearly 100 units are already vacant. A piece of good news coming with, let's say, not as good news. Last night, $1.8 million meant for the project was diverted back to the city, again, because of COVID-19 fallout. It is a part of a sacrifice that everybody in the city has had to make in order to work through a $40 million shortfall. Williams Graves says the good thing is that services will not be impacted one bit because of the other savings they've been able to find. She says overall, she is proud of how the city continues to move forward on what she feels is a life-changing project. In Norfolk, Brett Hall, on your side.